Now, you need to hear this, especially if you have an alcoholic in your family and you're a family member to that alcoholic. If you are enabling that person, if you're becoming part of the problem, you need to be educated on your role in that person's life. So let's delve into this deeper. Now, the whole point of this video is to determine whether or not you are codependent. Now, everyone is codependent, but it's also important to realize your role is maybe an enabler to the alcoholic. Like, for example, have you ever purchased alcohol for that person, fully knowing that you're putting them in harm's way, and you did this in order to keep the peace or to, you know, lessen the drama uh, and the resistance that you would get if someone is begging you for alcohol and you just bought them just to not deal with the problem anymore, let it go away. Have you made excuses for your loved one, you know, out of a sense of loyalty or a sense of duty, you know, maybe as a spouse? You know, have you gone to a social event or a family event and made excuses for them why they haven't been there? You know, maybe they, you're saying they're sick or they, you know, they have the flu or they're, you know, they're not feeling well. In reality, uh, they're having dry heaves because they had a four day binge <clears throat> and they're, you know, dying in front of the toilet. Uh, there's a big difference. But if you're lying for that person, just recognize it, what's going on with you. You know, again, my name is Andrew Culkin, and if you're new to this thread, I've helped thousands of alcoholics, and just as important, I've helped their families. So if you would, click on the link above and set up a breakthrough call so that we can get your loved one on a path of sustainable sobriety. Now, are you accommodating the alcoholic in your family? Are you giving them money? Are you giving them a place to stay, maybe if they're a child? Are you supporting that spouse, even though they continue to continue to fail uh, with this disease? Are you taking care of the alcoholic by absorbing the, their drama into your life and constantly making excuses not to take care of yourself? Are you bailing them out of jail, paying for their legal services, lawyers, and, and you know paying to defend them? Are you paying their fines, their tickets, their court costs? And probably one of the most important things to realize as a family member, are you caught up in the same denial as the alcoholic in the family? In other words, are you constantly telling yourself that they don't really have a problem, that they're high functioning? They're still able to hold a job and maybe they're okay most of the time or part of the time. You know, believe in the alcoholic that they can stop anytime they want. If you believe that, then we need to talk because you are seriously enabling that person and you're contributing to their behavior. So once again, if this type of situation is resonating with you, click on the link above, schedule a breakout, breakthrough call, and we'll set up a path for sustainable sobriety. You know, not just for you, but your family, for your entire family. Thanks for listening.